Good morning, happy Friday. It's Friday morning. Uh, I don't know the date. Hold on, let me check. It is the 25th, January 25th. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick little vlog today. Uh, you know, I'm toying with the idea of starting do, starting to do more vlogs again and whether I do that here or a different channel, um, which I have set up, but I haven't uploaded anything yet because I'm still waffling, toying with the idea still. But in any case, I went to the grocery this morning. Uh, it's Tuesday morning. And um, I got some good clearance deals, so I wanted to share that with you. And then I thought I would be doing a little bit, hold on, doing a little bit of baking today. I'm trying to see if Winston, Winston's, oops, where is he? There he is. <laughs> Winston's doing his dog bathroom thing. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I'm gonna do some baking today. I gotta make some bread. I want to try to make some sandwich bread. I've never done that really before, or I think I have, but it's been quite a while. And um, I've got some really, really ripe, um, really, really ripe bananas that need some attention. So I am going to try to make like an almond flour banana muffin kind of thing. So we'll see. I found a, a what do you call it, a recipe on Pinterest. I'm gonna give that a try, but for the time being, I'm gonna finish folding laundry, get that stuff like put in rooms and stuff, and then, yeah, so, and I'll show you the haul in just a second. Incidentally, I gave myself my own gel manicure like a few days ago. I think it turned out really, really well. Um, I picked up one of those UV light things, um, quite a while ago and I just like never bought gel polish. I finally bought like a pack of gel polish off of Amazon and I think it turned out really, really well. Um, I mean, it's been less than a week still, but it's still in really good shape. Nothing's really chipped at all and um, still really nice and shiny. So I'm excited to like, I don't know, <laughs> do, my, do my nails, do my nails every so often. So, okay, I'm gonna do the laundry, put the laundry stuff away and then I will get to the haul and baking. So this is not every single thing I bought. I did buy two like regular priced items. One was some pizza rolls and then I picked up some, um, what was it, pizza rolls and some other frozen thing that I needed. But in any case, yes, Clarence, look at this. So these are salads. They were all a dollar. So I got a thing of coleslaw. Yes, I realize these are perishable, like super perishable. I need to eat these right away, which is fine because I'll send these like with Rob for lunch this week. It's Tuesday, as I mentioned. So got some time to eat them this week. Um, some coleslaw, this will actually last a pretty decent amount of time. And then I got three of these chopped salad kits. Um, these are ranch. So it's lettuce, broccoli, cabbage, uh, ranch, crouton crumbles, sunflower seeds, carrot and green onion. So that's a perfect like lunch, a dollar right there. Three of those. I got one of these avocado crunch ones, um, again, a dollar. So that's even got like little, teeny tiny crispy red bell peppers, some jalapenos, uh, cheddar strips. So that'll be nice, kind of different change. I might actually use this for dinner maybe tonight. I don't know. And then um, I got one of these honey citrus ones. It's got romaine, kale, radicchio, cranberries, feta, and quinoa. I, I wasn't sure if he was going to like the quinoa. And then also I was just trying to make sure that the lettuce wasn't wilting too badly. So again, um, these are going to be lunches and maybe a dinner tonight. And then um, I found this here. This is ground lamb. I might just use this tonight or just right away stick it into the freezer. Um, and then I got two of those, but that was 99 cents. This was normally like $12.99. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that up real quick. And then they had two of these ground bison. I never buy bison. I, I don't even know what to do with bison. I guess you could just use it like ground beef. Um, but this was, I think regular was like $8.99 or $9.99. So I picked up two of those because that's all they had. 
And then I walked by uh, the deli, you know, like the actual deli section, and these were $2.99 for the fresh mozzarella. Regularly, you can see they're $9.99. And um, I'm gonna put one in the fridge and we can use that for, I was thinking pizzas uh, this week. Uh, and then the other one, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick in the freezer. Actually, this one I pulled out from the freezer because um, I've, I've already been home for like a couple hours. But uh, yeah, I know the texture of the cheeses will change once they're in the freezer, but I don't really care. I'm not gonna use this fresh probably grate it up or again, put it on pizza. So they'll be melted, it should be fine. And then these weren't on uh, clearance, but these were on sale. So normally the President Butter, Colin loves the salted uh, President uh, President Butter. So these are normally uh, $4.99 and these were $2.99. So I bought four of those, uh, which is, you know, a good deal for, for this kind of butter, I guess. So that is that. Um, I don't really have a total. All in all, I think I spent about $40, including the non-clearance and non-sale items. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about using this stuff, uh, using this stuff this week. Okay. So now, pardon the, the dryer is going. Um, I'm going to look for a sandwich bread recipe on Pinterest. Uh, let's see if I have everything. I should have everything I mean. Do you guys have a good sandwich bread recipe? If you do, um, I know I won't have it for today, obviously, but... If you do, I would love to know what your go-to homemade sandwich bread recipe is um, for future reference. I really just need like one loaf. How about the very best homemade sandwich bread? I don't know. That is quite the claim. <laughs> Um, easy white homemade bread, not only thrifty, but delicious. Make it from scratch for just pennies. I usually like to read comments if there are comments, you know, to see. It's always good, right? To see what people say. Delicious and dense. Do I want dense bread? Is that what I want? Is that a good thing <laughs> for sandwich bread? I'm not sure. I was kind of thinking fluffy, but... Maybe it's harder to slice when it's fluffy. Soft and fluffy Amish white bread. Yeast, I don't have instant, but that's okay, I think. Okay, well, let me pin this first so I don't forget it. And then I'm gonna try this and then I'm gonna also do the banana muffin. So I think I'm gonna start with bread first since that needs to, I'm assuming, rise and thing, and things. Yeah, so I'll do that. And then while it's, you know, proofing, I will uh, do the banana muffins. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm using, this Amish white bread. Uh, it is from IamHomesteader.com. We're gonna give this one a try, okay? Let's see how it goes. This is what it looks like, allegedly. <laughs> That's all I need and I'll be alright 
I just rolled it into a tight ball as per the instructions. Uh, it says loosely cover in um, plastic wrap. Not really sure what that means, loosely covered, because plastic wrap is pretty like airtight if you like seal it all around, but I guess I'll just kind of, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna let that sit. It says, um, let it sit for 60 to 90 minutes. So it's 10.30 now. In the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can make that banana muffin recipe. So this is the recipe I'm using, almond flour banana muffins uh, by mamagourmand.com. Uh, I will link the recipes for both of these things down below uh, so that you guys can give them a try. They seem to be pretty easy to make. So, okay, off to make banana muffins.
muffins are in the oven and look it's already started to rise look at that i think that's pretty much doubled already but i'm just gonna go let it go for a little bit longer and i'm gonna sit down <laughs> a little tired grab a drink and uh and i'll be back to take care of this guy here in just a second by the way isn't this the cutest apron it's so cute <laughs> It's just very like big flowy and you know, it's like one of those little Asian style ones. Um, crosses in the back, you know, just goes over your, whatever clothes you're wearing. Cute little pockets, got it in this happy yellow. I don't know, it just makes me happy. I'll link it down below in case you're interested. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out now. So this is what it looks like. Let me do the cake tester test. So I'll do it, this big one here. Okay, well it's clean. Isn't that the cutest? <laughs> got this years ago, um, probably like after we got married, but anyway. So um, I think I'm just gonna let these cool down. They smell really good. Okay, I think it's time for this. All right, so it says to punch it down and then shape it into a log to fit into my loaf pan. Now my loaf pan is super rusty, so I'm gonna put parchment so that the dough doesn't stick to whatever that is. <laughs> my little loaf shape like that and then cover with plastic wrap so I'll just reuse this guy here and then that's gonna rise for another hour like I said 50 50 to 60 minutes or until it doubles again so that is what we are going to do While we are waiting for the bread to rise, um, I'm gonna try one of these guys. It's stuck a little bit, but nice and golden brown. Huh? Oh, Winston's hungry. <laughs> and let's see, it feels nice and moist, so that's what it looks like here. Um, yeah, that didn't work, but anyway, here's the taste test. Mmm. You want some too? Do you want some too? <laughs> it's definitely eggy. It's like eggy. What do I mean by that? It's kind of like that foamy eggy kind of texture. I was afraid of the um, the monk fruit slash like the artificial, not artificial, but like the sugar substitute. I was afraid it would have that cooling effect of the erythritol, which when you bake with erythritol, it usually does that. It has like a cooling sensation. It does. What is it? You want some? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna eat this. It's really good actually. It's not too sweet and that's what I like about it. It's not super, super sweet. So I definitely like it. Might actually be really good, like if you're not, you know, watching your sugars and stuff like that. Be really good with like some cream cheese frosting. <laughs> you could use like a swerve or confectioner sugar to to add to the cream cheese, but that would be really good actually. This would be good with just like butter. Yes, it would be good with butter, wouldn't it, Winston? Okay, I'm gonna take him out to the bathroom, um, and then maybe give him a little carrot for the treat. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye.
okay i think we're ready look at that that's definitely doubled it's been 50 minutes so i think that's good i ended up spraying the plastic wrap so it wouldn't stick so badly so there that is that's ready for the oven i uh, went ahead and preheated so oops let's get that in here our dirty oven don't judge okay 20 to 30 minutes see what it looks like. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. It's, the recipe says 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. So let's just, oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. I'm going to pull that out right now. Okay, hold on. Let me go get my little oven mitt thing. I got my little mitt here. Oh my goodness. This looks, this looks amazing. Look at that how much it rose. Oh, I'm so excited about it. I hope it tastes good. Okay, so um, it says now to brush it with, brush the crust with melted butter and let cool for 10 minutes in the pan. So let me turn that off and let me get my basting brush. Wow, this looks, I am so excited about the way it looks anyway. It looks amazing. Okay, so I have my butter that was actually sitting on the on the stove top and it gets really hot while the oven's on. So, okay, let's, wow, this looks so good. Wow. I don't know how much butter I need to put on this, honestly, but can't hurt, right? I mean, it's butter. I am super stoked about the way it looks. Look at how amazing that looks. Doesn't that look amazing? It looks amazing. I hope it tastes amazing. Okay, so let that go for 10 minutes and uh, I'll be back to, uh, I think I'll transfer it to a wire rack to cool fully. Okay, oops. so it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna let this cool on the cooling rack. Gonna pull the parchment up. Yes, Winston. There you go. Look at that. So I am gonna let that cool now completely. Okay, don't mind the air fryer. It's been probably a couple hours now, the moment of truth. I'm gonna slice into this here what the bottom looks like. Looks good. It really looks really good. Okay. It's gotten soft with the butter. Kind of go for the heel. Wow, look at that. Get an inside slice here. you around. It really has like the texture of the store-bought. Tastes good. It's definitely on the sweet side, but not like a dessert sweet bread. Mm. Wow. You're right. I don't think I don't think I'm ever gonna buy bread again unless I had to buy bread again. It's really good. Oops. Did you find it, Winston? I dropped a little piece. Oh, this is really good. Wanna try it, Colin? Okay, well, I'm just gonna call it a vlog here. Colin's home now and he's just relaxing on the couch right now watching videos on his phone. 
Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and cook with me. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. I mean, I'm really tired. I very, very rarely bake two things like in a day. But um, I think I made pretty good use of my time. We have bread now because we ran out of sandwich bread. So I'm going to be able to use this and enjoy some desserts. Colin actually really liked the uh, banana muffins. But anyway, um, okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the Meals of the Week video coming up uh, on Monday, as I usually do Mondays. So, uh, yeah, and let me know down below if you'd like to see more of these sort of like cook with me vlogs. It's not necessarily a day in the life, but just kind of like one offs and things like that. So, until next time, be well, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.